So now this video is going to be almost the same as the last video, but last video we used the 74HC00 uh, quad uh, NAND gate, 2 input NAND gate. Now we got the 74HC132. So this is also quad NAND gates, but they're Schmidt trigger input. So we have uh, the both inputs low there, the outputs high. If I set the uh, trim pot uh, high, the output stays high. We have to take the uh, jumper there, set it high, in addition to setting the trim pot high. But uh, thanks to the Schmidt trigger inputs, we will zoom in. Um, if you saw the last video, when we set the uh, trim pot halfway with the zero zero, it uh, went erratic, the output. Now I go down, you see all of a sudden it uh, jumps high, uh, no matter how carefully I try to uh, go slow and make it uh, go erratic. I can't do it. That's the Schmidt trigger effect. This is the hysteresis range. You can see how far I have to turn it. The output is going to stay in whatever state it was last put into within this hysteresis range. Now when it comes to the diagram, I took the uh, 74HC00 diagram and just had to make a few changes. Uh, changing the part number for one thing. Um, I added a Schmidt trigger symbol to the NAND gate uh, schematic symbol because this has uh, Schmidt trigger inputs. Um, so we got to add that there so we know when we look at a schematic it will have uh, Schmidt trigger inputs. We can have a slowly changing voltage. It will uh, work a lot better than if there is no uh, Schmidt trigger. But uh, pin layout is the same there. I just popped out the 74HC00 and uh, pushed in the 74HC132. I actually got them from the same kit. So I did not buy these integrated circuits specially. I got a, a kit with a bunch of uh, different um, numbers of uh, 7400 series high-speed CMOS integrated circuits. So we got the NAND gate uh, true table here. If any inputs are low, as we saw before, zero volts for the most part are close to zero close enough to zero I should say, then the output is high. Whereas uh, if all of the inputs are high, that's the only time when it comes to NAND gates that the output will be low, uh, zero volts, uh, which uh, we established uh, five volts uh, for high right there. Now the uh, 74HC132, unlike the 74HC00, uh, looks like it can go up to 75 milliamps of total integrated circuit current because each input can still sink or source a maximum of 25 milliamps of current, plenty for LEDs. Um, but that means if you got three of them maxed out, you won't want any current at the output of the other one for the most part. Um, but uh, always check the data sheet for specifics. Don't uh, go by what I say. Um, check for yourself. Uh, I'm just kind of introducing this, so hopefully it makes more sense when you look into it yourself. But in uh, any case, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.